Hello, hello, and welcome back to Tennis Ace. Where, uh... I, I, I don't... Look, guys, I don't know how to start videos. You... You know this already. <clears throat> June starts, uh... Uh, strolling around, pointing and gasping at everything in sight. Even a ball cart. Who gets excited over a ball cart? Shoichi makes his way over to... <clears throat> to the setter position. Is that what that says? Set? Set her? Okay. Uh, I see a pretty big pool of sweat beneath his feet. How long has he been practicing? Okay, Suichi. Uh, get into position and throw me, the, throw me the ball. This is a drill. I've already done a ton, a ton of times. Since Suichi makes me help with his practice constantly, I've learned quite a lot about volleyball. Also, I seem to be pretty decent at it. Well, I tend to be pretty decent at most things, anyway. I throw the ball right over Suichi's head. Uh, when it's a little too... A little... When it's a little above the net, he uh, jumps, <clears throat> tossing the ball into the air. I start running as, uh, as soon as he jumps. I make sure that the ball's position... Make sure of the ball's position... And I, too, jump towards it. I aim for my spike just over the line. The ball hits the floor with a resounding womp uh, right on the top of the line. A nice spike! Whoa! A deafening voice assaults my ears. How can you jump so high? And the ball, and the sound of the ball made when it uh, hit your hand was so loud. Doesn't your hand hurt after hitting it like that? <clears throat> and how did you aim it so close to the line, and... No, no. How about we time out for a bit? <laughs> Even Shoichi is taken aback by his sudden outbursts of excitement. I've only met him today, and I'm already uh, having a hard time dealing with it. And he studies in the same class as me. This is pretty simple thing for your training, uh, if you train your legs. Yuichi might not have, uh, to jump as often as a volleyball player. As often as a volleyball okay. Uh, but he still has a very strong legs for playing tennis. As for it hurting his hand, I guess you could say that it stings a bit, but I'm not sure if I could call it painful. Aiming it just uh, a matter of practicing uh, uh, a lot, too. Now, mind if we continue? Uh, please do! Uh, Shoichi's hand. Uh, Shoichi hands me another ball. Gah. I can feel Kobayashi's eyes on me right now. I feel... <laughs> he really is watching intensely. I toss the ball to Shoichi again, and we repeat the drill. It goes over his head, and right when it's uh, at the top of the net, he jumps and tosses the ball whilst in the, uh, whilst in the air. Suishi tosses an incredibly accurate and easy to spike. Tosses are incredibly yeah. uh, He's the sort of uh, setter that prioritizes, uh, prioritizes easy to spike tosses. Uh, as such, he's very well liked by his team. He's already considered the best setter in our pre prefecture, maybe even the whole country, though it'd be hard to tell for sure. Despite how good he is, the rest of his team is only average, so they've only uh, managed to qualify for the national tournaments once. He'd be real mad at me if I said it out loud, though. We keep doing this drill for a while. Every now and then, June stops us to ask questions. At first, he was only asking us things about volleyball, but... So, how long have you guys known each other? He's starting to get way too personal. Shoichi doesn't seem phased by it in the slightest. Well, it probably doesn't take too long for a guy as sociable as Shoichi to adapt to this sort of thing. In fact, he's in a really good mood, consistently smiling and going... Uh, with whatever June asks. Uh, let me see. I guess it's been about 12 years, right, Yuichi? I guess it would be something like that, yeah. Wow, that's a long time to get to know each other. 
We met during our sports club training camp. It turns out that we both went to the same club, but had never met since we played different sports. If we hadn't shared a seat in the bus back then... Uh, it looks like he is reminiscing. Come to think of it, I hadn't really paid much attention to how long we've been known each other for. When I think about it, I barely do anything without Shoichi these days. When I think of it, it's almost like having a younger brother. I see what you mean, but why am I the younger brother? I'm older than you. You get to be the younger brother when you learn. You get to be the older brother when you learn to take care of yourself without inconveniencing other people. That's a uh, that, that that's kind of that's fun. It must be nice being so close with someone. I don't have any friends, not since I uh last switched schools anyway. Uh, Sh Shoichi smiles. Just the atmosphere around him is already helping keep the uh, shy but jumpy new guy at a better mood. He's just so good with people that others can't help but re but relax around him. You shouldn't worry about it. If you want, you can just hang out with us. You're in the same class as Yuichi anyway, right? Uh, of, of course. Uh, thank you very much. And just like that, it seems we've adopted a stray cat. We spent almost an hour helping Shoichi practice. Hey, Yuichi. Oh, would you mind waiting around for me? I'll just towel myself off and get changed. Sure. Well... I guess I'll get going now. It's pretty. It's getting pretty late. Yuichi-san, Shoichi, uh, san, uh, thanks for the help. <laughs> Junkun bows and takes his leave. Shoichi, uh, you're so easy to read. You're obviously annoyed that he added the san, aren't you? I did tell him to drop the honorifics, didn't I? You were acting very formal around him. Poor guy is probably confused. Well, I guess that's true. He's a pretty interesting boy, though. Yeah, tell me about it. A little bit too hyper for me. Really? I find it endearing. I sit down on one of the benches and wait around until Sho Shoichi is done getting dressed. It got so late while we were goofing around that it's already gotten dark. By the way, you Shoichi, how did you get to stay so late in the courts? I noticed that no one came around to close it. I got the keys from the coach. I... I thought they didn't allow students to stay at school after class. Of course they don't. All you have to do is ask nicely and sign a term of responsibility. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm not cut out for that sort of thing. What? <laughs> not cut out for being a normal person? Oh, yeah, that's about right. <laughs> anyway... Uh, did you have fun on your first day? Meh. It's the same as every year, really. Well, I thought you'd be a little more excited after practice. You had a great practice match today, and you didn't even care about it. I wouldn't say I didn't care. It's just, I don't know. I didn't give me, it didn't give me the usual thrill. Shuichi cuts in front of me, forcing me to stop. When I s uh, start asking him what he's doing, he flicks me in the forehead. You've been like that for the past three years already. It needs to stop. It's not healthy. I rub the spot he flicked me. Damn, that stung. Been like what? Can't you at least try to make sense? How dense can you be? It's obvious for, m uh, for, me, uh, for me since I've been watching you play since we were kids. You have something on your mind, don't you? What is it? I don't know. It, if there's uh, anything going on with me, it's certainly not uh, intentional. You think I can make something... Uh, I like making almost no progress in practice? So you've noticed your slow development. Of course I noticed. How dumb would I have to be in order not to? It's so frustrating. I see players that were clearly weaker than me two years or two or three years ago suddenly beat me with ease. And that, of course, only makes uh, me even more anxious. Shoichi scratches his head in, Kiri, uh, in confusion. I guess I know what you mean. Tennis is a pretty uh, lonely sport. You only got yourself to rely on. 
that's why I like volleyball. Your teammates are always there to cover you for, uh, cover for you and help you along with uh, if you're having difficulty. The way I see it, I could be playing my best and clearly be the best player and yet still lose because my team drags me down. It's what's been happening to you. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. What did you say? Uh, nothing. We walk along in silence for a few minutes. I'm usually pretty bad with words. At times like this, I usually rely on Shoichi to keep the conversation going. If he goes quiet, too. Oh, sorry. Huh? For what? I know you're uncomfortable about this. I shouldn't have said anything. It's fine, to be honest. Uh, Katsuguri-sensei was also saying the same thing. She says I stopped trying to excel. She's not entirely wrong, either. I'll admit, I used to try a lot harder before, both in tennis and in school. I guess I lost my drive. Wow, you shouldn't worry about it too much. Even if you're, uh, like this now, <clears throat> you're aware of your faults and, uh, are working to change. I'm sure things will work out. Always the optimist, huh? I try. Shoichi wraps his arm around my neck and pulls me closer, petting my head. I let him have his fun while uh, for a while. I guess I'm in a good mood. He does take the uh, concept of... Skinship? Uh, a, little too for, a little too far sometimes, though. Before I notice, we're almost at my house. Damn, it was so pleasant that I completely zoned out. You can let me go now. Oh, uh, feeling self-conscious? No, I just think I've already let you have enough fun. We're even now. I think you have... I think you were having, uh, way more fun than I was. Don't make me hit you. Heh, <laughs> sure thing. He pulls away from me. By the way, I know I sound like a broken record, but... This is our last year of high school. It'd be a shame if we spent it freaking out about the future. Let's just take things one step at a time, okay? Sure, and I guess I, could, I should consult with a few coaches about a new training program. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. Change of routine might actually help you with that psychological block of yours. Why don't you ask one of your sponsors to get you a personal coach? Nah, I don't want them to think we've, uh, that they've got too much power over me. They already send you equipment and help pay for the travel expenses. Pretty safe to say they've got a lot of power over you, and they know it. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Shuichi grins. Well, not that it matter. Uh, not that it matters anyway. I'm sure there's a lot of other professional coaches in Japan that would like to help you. I'd like to work with you. Plus, almost all players in the country would jump at the opportunity of practicing with you. <clears throat> oh, uh, now that he mentions mentioned it, I'm pretty sure I heard something about an exchange program. Oh, that's right. Actually, I just remembered. But there are a few uh, tennis clubs out of uh, out of our prefecture holding exchange program. The minimum requirement is being ranked 12 or higher on the um, Kanto Junior ranking. Does that mean Tanaba would be uh, participating too? Uh, uh, Takagi uh, Tanaba, Tanaba is the current number one player in the U18 circuit. The U <clears throat> I've uh, known him since I first played against him in the U13 Kanto tournament. We've already faced each other tw uh, over 20 times and I've never beaten him, not even once. I think so. His cub is the one organizing it all. That's great then. Why don't you go? What's your rank in uh, Kanto right now? Three? Four? Two. And I don't know if I should. I mean, I definitely it, I definitely get a good amount of practice, but I'm afraid I might psych myself out if I meet him there. You're refusing the opportunity to practice against the best player in the country? You? This is more serious than I thought. Your heart's turned into glass. Shut up. I'm not afraid of it or anything. I just... Honestly, I might actually be scared. I have avoided playing... Uh, 
Keisuke all this time for no reason, other than uh, he reminds me of uh, Takagi. Maybe I really do have a block. Shoichi examines me with a concerned look. Well, you don't have to worry about it too. <clears throat> Whether you decide to go or not, you'll still have good practice partners over over here. You can always use Urahira or your uh, Tanava pro proxy. Keikun's skills aren't nearly as refined as Tanaka's. Takagi's. Ouch, poor Ushihara. Well, we're here. Sorry I can't stay for a while. I have some stuff I need to work out right now. Right away. Uh, tell Akikun uh, and your mom I said hi. Sure, message me if you need anything. Of course! Shuichi waves me without turning back and keeps walking away. It's a good thing he lives so close, but it tends to get annoying when he um, pops in without a warning. Uh, mom, Aki, I'm home. My mom's shoes aren't here. Maybe she's out. I hear footsteps coming from the stairs. My little brother, Akiyoshi, walks down. Huh, okay. Ah, uh, Aki, you're home already, huh? What do you mean already? It's pretty late. By the way, Mom said she'd be late again, so you'll have to cook. Straight to the point. Ah, you're right. I'll get right to it. Sorry you had to wait for me. It's fine. I figured you'd uh, you'd be staying late for practice anyway. Well, it wasn't because of practice, but if he's okay with it, I won't complain. What do you want me to cook for you? Uh, just some rice would be fine. I don't really care. You're telling me you went to you went to practice today, worked up a sweat, and all you uh. All you want to eat is rice. You need to eat properly if you want to get stronger. You're starting to sound like mom. Hey, I'm telling you this as, this as an athlete to, to an aspiring athlete. You need to watch what you eat. What, you are, what are you going to do if you uh, go to the third seat and you can't even run anymore? A third set. I'm 12. We don't play three set matches yet. You will someday. Might as well start working up your stamina right now. All right, all right. Just make whatever you want. <laughs> Time goes by fast, pretty fast when I'm cooking and chatting with Aki. He seems to really want to talk, seeing how I could barely get a word in. It was all about tennis, too. By the time I finished cooking, he was still uh, talking like there was no tomorrow. It's hard getting him to shut up once he gets started. Was I, uh, this passionate about it when I was his age? Wow, it's already 10.30. I told Aki I'd go to sleep uh, just a little while after him, and he's already been uh, gone for over an hour. <sighs> Blasted video games always distracting me. I hear the door open. I see my mom coming in. Once she sees me, she looks surprised. Oh, Yuichi. Uh, you're still awake. Uh, did you make dinner for Akiyoshi? And you? Is everything okay? Everything's fine, Mom. You don't... Oh, he's wearing, like... Oh, he's wearing different stuff. That's kind of cute. Uh, you don't have to freak out every time you come home late. Aki's already gone to bed. I'm sorry, sweetie. You know I worry about you, too. Oh, and by the way, I got a call from one of your teachers today. What? He said you forgot a racket at the locker room. Honestly, you should be more careful. You know those, uh, those have been custom-made for you. Oh, sorry, sorry. Phew, for a second, I thought she had spoken to Katsuri, uh, Katsuragi-sensei. No, wait, there's something wrong with what she just said. That's weird. I always check my bags before leaving, and I had everything with me. I pick up my tennis bag near the door and check it over again. Yup, everything's there. Who's the teacher that called you? Hmm. I think his name was Mi... Mina... Mikado? Hold on, I, I know I wrote it down somewhere. Lies. <sighs> Mikado Ama... 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 Numa. Okay. Yes, that's it. That's our, co that's our coach. 
he hasn't shown up for practice for the past three weeks. I think it's safe to say that he doesn't have one of my rackets. He probably just uh, wants uh, me to run some sort of errand for him. He's still your teacher. You can't just assume he's lying. I don't know him as well as you don't know him as well as I do. Yeah, yeah. I talk to him to I'll talk to him tomorrow then. Assuming he ever shows up. Good night, mom. Night, sweetie. Once I'm in bed, I decide to check my phone. Oh, it looks like Saya sent me a message. <sighs> Coach called mom today, and I guess I forgot something at the gym. Wait, did he even show up today? Was he with you, or um, or something? Oh, okay. Huh. I knew it. This is another one of his schemes, isn't it? Last time he told us he was taking us to watch a professional tournament in Tokyo. Instead, he took us to the club he used to work for and forced us to work as assistant coaches for the weekend. Said it was expand our horizons if we learned how it was uh, dealing with players. Ha, knew it. He called me too. Come on, do you seriously believe that guy? Wait, you too? Weird. Do you think he's up to something again? 100%. Yeah, it checks out. Okay, I'll deal with him tomorrow. I gotta sleep for now. Night. Night. Well, as long as Saya is dealing with him, there's no need for me to go. Ah. I don't know if I like that. I don't know if it's supposed to do that, or if, like, it's just freaking out. But it, uh, it is what it is. Uh, the classroom is ex excessively noisy first thing in the morning. Hmm. It's already been a few minutes since the doorbell, uh, since the uh, bell rang and our teacher hasn't shown up yet. I wonder if something come up. Uh, good morning, students. I'm sorry for the delay. Now, if anyone could, uh, if everyone could please return to their seats. Ah, speak of the devil. And before I forget, uh, there's someone uh, you all need to meet. And the stag looks out to the open door and someone I can't see. Come on, come here, introduce yourself. That's right, Koba... Jun-kun was transferring to my class today, wasn't he? The tiger walks into the room, slowly making his way to the front of the class. His eyes were are focusing everywhere but the other people in the room. It looks like he's totally panicking. I, I'm Jun Kobayashi. It's a pleasure to meet you all. He looks... Uh, he makes a robotic bow and starts walking towards a free chair. W wait, Kobayashi! Uh, you have to write your name on the board so others can know how to spell your, uh, spell the kanji. Ah, uh, yes, uh, just one second. Uh, several people laugh at his nervousness. I think myself, it's a bit endearing. I walk back to the, he walks back to the board, writing down his name in big, shaky letters. It's a pleasure to meet you all. He bows once again. He looks to the edge of, uh, he looks like he's on the edge of a panic attack. Very well, Kobayashi. You need a you need an empty seat. Let's see. Um, there's one next to Michimia. Uh, why don't you go there? Ah, yes. Uh, Yuichi-san, hi. He waves enthusiastically at me. Whoa, everyone's eyes are focused on me. Can't he be a little bit more careful? Good morning, good morning, Yuichi-san. And just like that, everyone already are already whispering about it. Ayako lean f leans forward, tapping me on the back of to get my attention. You know him, Yuichi-kun? I met him yesterday, after I met with uh, Katsuguri-sensei. I gave him a tour of the school. Oh my, that's pretty nice of you. I would have done it if I knew he was still around. Ayako, uh, what's he saying? And just like that, a telephone line has already uh, been formed by 
uh, to discuss how I met Jinkun. Wait a second. Why am I the one getting all the attention here? He's the transfer student. You're really popular, aren't you? <laughs> Not really. They're just incredibly curious people. I wish I had that many friends. I wouldn't really call them friends. They're more like friendly acquaintances. Isn't that the same thing? I shrug. Ah, I expected to to be bored out of, bored by the class, but dear God, did they have to be that boring? Most of the students are already getting packed and heading home. Club activities haven't started yet, so most of the students have nothing to do after class. Only competitive clubs like mine or Shoichi's have been given permission to start early. I think I'm going to laze around on the top of my on top of my desk for a while longer. Some other students uh, seem to be doing the same and are sticking around in class to talk to their friends. Must be nice. My friends are all super enthusiastic about their respective clubs, so I'm sure they all they uh, they must all be headed there already. I hear the sounds of someone clearing their throat, and when I look up from my desk, I see a tiger standing there, looking down at me. Excuse me, Yuji-san. Would you mind showing me to the faculty office? I don't know how to get there. Why me? Shouldn't you ask one of our teachers? Well, the thing is, he already left. I look at the teacher's desk and, can, and confirm that his words are actually true. Isn't the teacher supposed to stick around for a few minutes in case their students have any questions? What's up with this school and their lazy teachers? There's the... You're the only person in here that I know, so, uh... Oh, I kind of figured it'd be better if I asked you first. Well, I... I would, but... I, I have tennis club to get to. Remember how I told you I was in the tennis club? Yes, the perfect excuse. Then, how come you've been sitting around for the past five minutes without going anywhere? He's got me there. Well, either way, I should, uh, I really should get going to the tennis club. Oh, I know! How about you take me to the practice sessions so I can watch? You promised me you would yesterday. Don't you have to go to the faculty office? I only need to get, get my class in itinerary. I can do that whenever. Boy, you really need to get your priorities straight. Well, I guess Saya wouldn't mind. Uh, she likes to show the club off to interested spectators. And Coach is a weirdo, and so I don't so I doubt he'd mind if he's present at all. Have I agreed to this already? I guess I can. Though I can't promise I'll be allowed to bring you in. Oh, we can still try. It's not like our practices are secret after all. Kobayashi looks incredibly pleased at, at the news. I swear he's radiating satisfaction. Heh, <sighs> what a weird kid. Once we arrive, I have Jun-kun wait outside the building while I get dressed. I need to get Saya's permission before I can... before I can allow him to come inside. A visitor? That's kind of rare for you to be asking me this. Is that a no? Of course not. I'm fine with it if you bring if you want to bring someone to watch. Having someone watching having someone uh, watch you with interest is always a great way to get yourself pumped up. That's exactly the kind of answer I'd expect coming from your from her. I'm sure he's not going to be a lacking on interest front at least. She nods, smiling. So tell me, what's your real reason for bringing him along? You wouldn't just invite your other classmates. You saw through me, huh? To be honest, I felt a bit bad for him since he doesn't know anyone else in the school. So I thought, ah, why not, and brought him along. That's pretty kind of you, Yuichi. Hmm. But you don't have any um, practice matches scheduled for today. Don't you think he'd be bored of watching us pr um, practice our shots? Uh, that shouldn't be a problem, Sayatan. Who is this lad? <laughs> Suddenly, a huge mountain of scales tower behind Saya. But, but, coach! Don't sneak up behind me, so this is our coach. Oh. Okay. 
An adult. That means he's legal. Uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. I couldn't uh, keep myself from overhearing uh, what you guys were talking about. I'm going to call bullshit on that. There's been a change of plans. We're going to have a few matches today. Wait, wait. What about our training menu for today? Don't worry about that. Saya glares at him. A look that, uh, on more than one occasion, left, uh, visualizing the very image of death itself. And it has no effect on the crocodile. You left me alone for a whole month without even helping me make a balanced training regiment, and now you're going to mess it up? If you keep fretting over everything, when you're young, you're going to get wrinkles before you're 30. <laughs> I'm half expecting her to jump on his throat any second now. Meanwhile, he merely uh, laughs it off as if it makes a big joke. We're almost hitting four. You're almost hitting 40. Could you please start acting like your age? Who do, who do you propose we play against? I'm okay with anyone other than uh, Keikun. Keikun would cry if he heard you say that. Yeah, I'm pretty... Uh, I've been getting that a lot lately. Well, not to worry. I've already made arrangements to get us some new players to, par to practice with. Did you invite players from another club? Coach scratches his chin with a cheeky smile on his face. Well, let's go with that. Wait, uh, wait here while I go call them over. Uh, could it be? Huh? You know what's going on here, Sayachan? I remember him telling me that he was coming over to visit today, but I didn't think that meant... Who's he? Can't you just drop the pronoun game and uh, tell me uh, who you're who you're talking about? Why don't you take a guess? <laughs> I hear a familiar voice immediately uh, catches my attention. Before I can react, I feel a tap on my back and two figures coming into view. Uh, Kaito-kun! Saya rushes over to the tiger, uh, locking him in a tight hug. Uh, Morisaki-senpai? The tiger's, uh, her grin widens. Hey there, Saya-chan, Iwichi-kun. <laughs> I see you've grown taller. <laughs> this goofy-looking tiger was the club's captain uh, back when I was a freshman. We were all surprised when he decided to go to college in America at the same time as he debuted as a pro. From what I re researched, uh, the college he went to has a big sports program that scouts players from all over the world. He definitely, uh, they definitely are one of the best environments uh, a tennis player could hope for. During his time as an active player in his junior ranks, uh, Morisaki Senpai was ranked number three in the country. The links, links, bleh, bleh. the links right next to him, though. I don't know him. Oh, uh, by the way, this guy is a friend of mine from college. He's from a, he's from a bit before my time, but he's an excellent player. The links laughs and offers him, offers me a hand. Uh, Kenma Sasaki, a pleasure to meet you. Y yeah, it's a pleasure to meet you too. This guy is really intimidating. Oi, um, Morisaki. The crocodile walks back to the court, gritting his teeth. Jeez, don't wander around without permission. I went to the van to pick you up, to pick you uh, guys up, and there wasn't anyone there. Morisaki senpai scratches the back of his head, laughing nervously. <laughs> sorry, sorry. The girl said that it was uh, too hot inside and left, so uh, Kenma and I decided to leave too. I told you we should have stayed it. Put, idiot. Hey, hey, Kenma! Uh, uh, back me up a little here. <laughs> the coach sighs. Jeez, you always were a troublemaker. <laughs> uh, thank you, uh, Amanuma. Uh, Amanuma san, yeah. <laughs> that wasn't a compliment. Oh, jeez, I remember this little dynamic fairly well. Morisaki-senpai's carefree attitude was always cause, always cause a uh, coach a ton of problems. 
But come on, it's just some it's just so nostalgic being back here. How could you expect me to not have a look around? All right, fine. I'll let this one slide, but you ruined my uh, dramatic entrance. By the way, where did the girls go? Oh, that's right. The tiger immediately lifts his finger into the air as if he was uh just had a uh, grand epiphany. I have no idea. <laughs> Coach, uh, conks him on his head. Then what was that dramatic pause for? Say, for, say so from the beginning, idiot. Why are you two ganging up on me? And Kenma, you knew from the very beginning, too. Wow, they're more, <laughs> they're more of a wacky trio than uh, Shoichi K and I. Although I guess this is the kind of thing I'd expect from Murasaki Senpai. Coach sighs out, uh, taking a deep breath of air to recompose himself. Ahem. Uh, where was I? Oh, right. I've decided to reach out to some of the other, uh, some more successful alumni. Our school has always been a pretty strong tennis program, after all, so, after all, so many of our former students became pros. Since they are all pretty new to the professional scene, I figured they could spare us some some of their time. Aren't I brilliant? Actually, we were coming to Saitama anyway uh, for the Tozan Show uh, Challenger Tournament. We m merely rescheduled our stay to come here f to come five days in advance due to the promise of free lodging and food. In other words, they took pity on us. <laughs> what do you think, huh? Pretty neat, isn't it? Isn't it? Well, I'd have to... Uh, I have to admit that I didn't uh, ex expect this. And all this time, I thought you were just lazing around at home. Coach's shoulders shag. <sighs> you can try uh, having some more faith in me, you know. When, we <clears throat> when can we start the matches? Don't just ignore me. <sighs> ah, forget it. He clears his throat one more time, crossing his arms to appear more serious than he really is. The matches can start uh, once everyone is ready. I also arranged uh, for two female players to come over to practice with you in uh, Kurashina, Sayatan. Uh, Say you guys will be playing uh, consecutive one-set matches. You better be prepared, because we'll be practicing all the way through the school's closing time. You'll probably uh, be playing 20 sets a day. 20 sets? That's impossible! With the average duration of a set, there's no way we can cram that much much in just a few hours. The coach smiles, his toothy grin sends shivers down my spine. Aw, uh, don't worry. Your sets won't last that long. What's that supposed to mean? Morisaki-senpai gives me a slap on the back, nearly knocking me face down first into the ground. Come on, Yuichi-san. It'll be fun! I can't breathe. Oh god, I'm going to cough out my lung. It takes us, uh... <clears throat> Actually, I think I'm going to, uh, stop the part here, so I'll, I'll see you around, everyone.